Jay Park apologizes for his Allah lyric in Mukbang remix. He was accused of disrespecting religion. Jay Park has apologized for his lyrics in Mukbang remix, following backlash from listeners. Mukbang remix, a 2020 song by Lil Cherry and G O L D B U U D A, features verses by Jay Park, Dumbfounded, and BB. Some listeners claimed Jay Park disrespected both Christianity and Islam by comparing himself to God, the Holy Ghost, and Allah in his lyrics. From Princess underscore Thirlwall, at P Thirlwall, calling himself a God, and comparing himself to the Holy Ghost? Then talking about Allah like that? He disrespected Christianity and Islam right there. Well done Jay Park clapping hands medium skin tone if you still choose to support him just admit er a horrible person and get lost. He deserves to be cancelled. From Aya, at Wangover. Sorry non skz, but just found out about Jay Park's super offensive lyrics about comparing himself. Astig Farula, to Allah and even terribly trying to rhyme it with Walla and it's just. Sorry but if you genuinely support this man PLSSSS block me BC I'm super weirded out by him. From Leah to the power of seven at Yerinketh. The fact that Jay Park also wrote this song just shows how disrespectful he is. When will these artists stop using Islamic things for their aesthetics and HV a basic decency for our religion? It's too normalized and got swept under the rug every time sad face. From it stay D-dub. This is the nth time Korean artist disrespecting our religion and now J Park too? WTF is wrong with y'all can you respect us at least? We had enough. J Park has now addressed the criticism in a series of tweets. In the first tweet, he apologized for offending listeners but condemned a false narrative. Lyrics were never meant to be offensive or disrespectful. For anyone who took it that way I apologize. Y'all out of pocket for, he dragging a religion, or, racist, comments stop with that bullshit false narrative. To me it's just lyrics to some it's more serious. Simple as that. In his follow-up tweet, Jay Park said he didn't know the lyrics would be offensive, and he wished peace of love to all. So to the people who feel some type of way about it, I didn't know so that's my bad. Now I'm gonna go back to impacting people's lives in a positive manner. Hope y'all do the same. Peace and love to everyone. Jay Park also acknowledged that fans come from all around the world and take things indifferently, depending on their perspective. Yeah, but everyone lives in different countries and has different cultures languages and perspectives. Everyone takes things indifferently depending on where you are how you grew up etc. Words, symbols, mean everything to some but for those who don't know just a other word. Rather than dragging the controversy out, Jay Park hopes to move on from the misunderstanding. Not everyone can know everything and if a misunderstanding causes you to hate me. So be it. Best I can do is apologize to those I offended and move on. In the next tweet, Jay Park apologized, full-heartedly, and showed love for fans. To those who wanna hate me let em hate, he wrote. Love y'all too. Of course if it made you feel bad I apologize full-heartedly. Definitely understand where er coming from. I will be more mindful next time dear. Love all my real Muslim fans and I hope it don't make you think if me any different. Jay Park has since deleted his original tweets in favor of posting a new apology letter to Muslim fans. Thanks for watching it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos.